Good evening, folks. This is Barb Pask in Ohio. I'm going to try to do a little painting for you tonight. I don't know how far I'll get. Um, this is an 8x10 um, cotton canvas stretched uh, from Dick Blick. I order them by the quantity, so I mostly paint. Even though I think I prefer a hard surface, I paint mostly on the stretch canvas, just, you know, practical reasons. Um, I brought in, I'll show you here, one of my planters of geraniums. Thought that might be fun. And we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm using a view catcher to set up my composition. I always use it, uh, especially helpful outside. First thing I've done is I, I thought I'd just do my whole process tonight and we'll just see how it goes. Um, first thing I did was to mix up an orange, cad red light, uh, cad yellow, and I threw a little blue in there, and that's what I'm gonna tone my canvas with. These are water mixable oils, so we're using a little water. Even though I tend to stay away from it, I, I use it in the beginning stages sometimes, and then I, it usually evaporates out by the time I'm painting, so. These are cobras mostly. Cobra, has, they are fine with you mixing water in them. There are, um, Lori McNee is one that does. Charlie Hunter is another. They use cobras and they put a lot of water in them. So, I've already, Taking a look at my pot, and I've decided I'm going to do a vertical composition. I like toning the canvas. Um, I've tried all different colors over the years. This is what I've been doing lately. I've even done bright pink, which can be kind of interesting, you know, if it peeks through here and there. Kind of wipe that off, which I think gets rid of some of that water. And you absolutely, this would work well with uh, solvent. All right, now we're going to look through the view catcher and decide and sketch it onto the canvas here. I've got it set up. I don't know if you have one of these. This adjusts for the size canvas. This is eight by ten. You can decide if it's horizontal or vertical. There's a little hole in here too that you can use to look through and match value and color. Very handy little tool, I recommend it. All right, into the same orange mixture, I'm adding a little ultramarine and crimson to darken it up a little bit, and then I'm gonna to try to get my sketch on there. suggest on foliage and flowers. <coughs> Sorry. I tried to tape this to the board, but of course it fell right off.
the darker areas are where my blooms are. And I'm standing tonight so I can see down into that pot, very dark in there where the dirt is. I'm sorry about this jumping around. And I've got a light on this, so I've got a shadow over here. Now what you can do if you've got any bright lights, whether you're using water mixables or traditional oils, is take your water in this case or your solvent and wipe out the, the light, light areas. I don't have anything really light in this composition green leaves, terracotta pot. But if I was doing like a white pitcher, I would I would dampen my paper towel and I would go in and wipe it out so I had a nice clean um, background to work into. All right, now what we're gonna do, which is not very exciting, I'm gonna pre-mix some colors. Let me show you my, canvas, my uh, palette here. I'm very, pretty traditional painter. Um, Ultramarine blue, cobra, cobalt blue. I tend to use a warm and cool beach primary. Um, cad yellow, cad lemon. This is um, Indian yellow. I like transparent greens. And if you use ultramarine blue and Indian yellow, which is a transparent, it makes a nice transparent green. Lizard and crimson, cad red light, and white. And over in this corner, I've got uh, transparent red oxide which is one color I throw on. I like the transparent red oxide with the ultramarine. Gives you a very nice dark. See this orange color, this is what I, I tone with, which again was just the orange with a little ultramarine thrown into it. All right, let's see if we can get you back where you were. Really good at this, aren't I? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pre-mix a few colors. Maybe I should shut you off for that and start a second one. I think I'll do that. I'll come back after I pre-mixed. 